Netherlands versus Ecuador, 1-1. Yeah, I did not expect it either. <laughs> because cause I thought this could be an easy win for Netherlands, you know, maybe one or two. Plus, they beat Senegal. So I'm like, yeah, this definitely should be Netherlands' game. But, hey, look, I'm not underestimating Ecuador here. Good team, good goal scorer. You know, so Valencia scored two goals in the last game against Qatar. Should have been three, but one was just loud, so. But it's Netherlands, you know what I mean? So I thought this could be an easy win for them. But I'm just wondering what, one thing is, why Netherlands is not playing um, Memphis Defey? Because I'm not really, you know, I haven't caught up with everything that's happening in the football world, so I'm not really sure if he's injured or not fit. I mean, clearly, if he's not fit or something, they would probably, like, you know, his name would be different when they, you know, do the lineup thing you know, in the, you know, beginning of the match and stuff. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but he's clearly on the bench. So I'm not really sure why they're not starting him because I think he's, you know, he's been doing good. So I'm not really sure why they're not starting him as a striker and stuff. So I'm just not really sure on that part because, uh, yeah. But now one's got the first goal in five minutes. And then Ecuador, they scored right before the halftime, but it was disallowed, which it kind of pisses me off that. Why in this World Cup, I actually, I've actually noticed a lot, uh, or maybe, I don't know, probably it's happened before, but I, I don't know, I think it's only happening in this World Cup, but I noticed that nowadays when, um, in the World Cup, I mean, not nowadays, when an offside happens, the referee doesn't really lift up the flag right away anymore, because I just noticed in this um, replay, where it was an offside, he scored the goal, and he's running to the corner and you know to celebrate and everything, but the flag is still down. The linesman he did not raise up his flag at all since before the goal was scored. After he went to the corner, the lines the, the flag was the flag was down. So how is it an offside? Are they telling him in his ears or something that hey hey it's an offside so you should uh, raise up your flag now? In that case, then what's the point of a linesman anymore? Because there's absolutely no point. Because as a linesman, you're, you're the one who's supposed to look at the offside, not wait for instructions on when to raise up the thing. Because clearly, he did not raise up the flag when the goal was scored or before or when it was actually offside. He did not raise it at all. You know, even after when um, the, the player scored it and then he was going to the corner to celebrate, I you know, they showed the replay, so he, the flag was still down, so I'm like, how is it, why, why aren't the linesmen functioning as the linesmen anymore, why are they waiting for instructions and then lifting up the flag, and I don't even know he, if he lifted up the flag or not, because they didn't show that part, so I'm like, is there any point to a linesman anymore, because they're clearly not really doing things themselves anymore, they're just listening to instructions on the ear because at least the referee is not completely useless because even though he does you know receive some stuff from the VAR room for some stuff but mo I would say for the most part he still uh, you know you know the referee still does his own thing but then the linesman is like completely useless now like well, I was like yeah that kind of pissed me off a bit <laughs> so anyway the second goal was scored by Valencia of course this is his third goal it should have been four because of the uh, first goal that was disallowed. And just like that, he could have been the front runner for, uh, you know, the golden boot in, uh, you know, this uh, World Cup. So, yep. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. I kind of underestimated Ecuador right there. Because I thought, you know what, because uh, like I said, the you know, for the last two games, that Ecuador versus Qatar was to determine who's going to be third and fourth. And then Senegal versus Netherlands are going to be forward who, to determine who's going to be one and two. But then this is a drop, so this is interesting. But the last match is definitely worth watching. Uh, to see, you know, is there anything fishy going to happen or something. So, yeah, good. Senegal versus Ecuador. Because Ecuador has a great, you know, attacker that can score goals, which I think Senegal is kind of lacking. But Senegal has a great defense, so I think that is definitely a match looking forward to watch. Uh, I'm looking forward to watch. So, yeah, that is all for Netherlands versus Ecuador 1-1. See you in the next game. Until then, take care. Goodbye.